Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the L2TP connection attempt failed because the security layer encountered a processing error. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the start menu, type in control panel. Best result, should come back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by the category view, and then select Network and Internet. Select where it says Network and Sharing Center. And then on the left side, select where it says Change Adapter Settings. You will locate your VPN device in here, your VPN adapter, and it should be pretty clearly labeled. You would just right click on it. So it wouldn't be in my case like the Ethernet, it would actually say VPN in the name of it. You'd right click on it and select properties. You would then select the options tab. Again, I don't have that in my case, but you would open it up. You would right click on it, select properties. There'd be five tabs on the top, general, option, security, networking, sharing. Select the options tab. And then on the options tab, you would see a button that says PPP settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And then there would be three options that will appear under it. You want to check mark the enable LCP extensions. Keep the other two unchecked. So the enable software compression as well as negotiate multi-link for single link connections. Keep both of those unchecked, but keep the first one, the enable LCP extensions check mark. And once you're done with that, go ahead and select the security tab. And then underneath data encryption, there's a drop down. Select where it says optional encryption, connect even if no encryption and keep that one selected. And then go a little bit further down where it says allow these protocols and there's a little circle next to it. You wanna go ahead and select that and then make sure it's checkmarked for Microsoft CHAP version two. Keep the other three boxes unchecked. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and just save and close out of here. Would recommend restarting your computer and then when you attempt to access the network settings again down in your system tray, upon system restart there should be an option here to connect to the VPN service. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.